All right, this last video is things that you've done before, but this will allow us to finalize our entire rig. What I'm going to do is I want to be able to animate everything from just these three controls. So I'm going to add some new features, particularly to the feet, that allow me to drive the elements that I need to drive. So first things first, let's start with this foot. The things I want to be able to add to this is I want to be able to add the feature of rolling up onto the ball of the foot, and I want to be able to add the ability to animate the toe. I also want to add the ability to be able to aim the knee. And if you remember, that is this twist option here. I don't know why that has a keyframe on it, but I'm going to delete it because we don't need a keyframe on that. So to do that, I'm going to select this control and I'm going to add a few attributes. So I'm going to modify, add attributes, and I will call the first one knee, and I'll hit add, ball, add, and toe, add. And just for consistency, I'll go ahead and do that over here as well. Modify, add attribute, knee, ball, toe. So let's start connecting these things. If I go to Windows, General Editor, Connection Editor, you'll see that my right leg control loaded into the left and at the bottom you'll see knee ball and toe let's do the knee first the knee is an attribute of our right I, right leg ik and so that's this twist attribute so if i hit reload right i can click knee and then twist and so now when i adjust knee it'll allow me to aim my character's knee. The second feature is rolling up onto the ball of the foot. So I'm going to load this right foot IK group. So if I hit reload right, the thing we want to be able to control is the rotate X. So I'm going to choose ball and then I'm going to choose right here, rotate X. So now again, with this control, I can control both the knee and the ball. The last thing I'm going to do is add this toe rotation at the end. So it is this joint right here, I'm having trouble selecting it, there we go, our toe. And again, it's going to be the rotate Z. So I'll do reload right, toe, rotate, Z. And you'll see that now my rig should completely function. Knee, ball, toe. So this should help in being able to animate later. So let's go ahead and zero those back out. And kind of quickly, I'll do that again over on this side. I'll select this control, I'll reload my left, and then I will select my IK, reload my right, the knee, I'm going to hook to the twist. I'll select the right or left foot IK group, reload right. And as we saw earlier, that is the rotate X. So ball, I will connect to rotate X. And for my toe, that was rotate Z. And so I'll reload right, toe connected to rotate Z. Close. So now this should all work. The last thing I want to do is I want to put all of this other stuff that I don't need to see anymore into its own group. So I'll just create a new group here 
and I've added the joints, so that's good. And I'll just call this rigging. Some people just, if you're going to give to give this rig to someone else, they will sometimes call this don't touch um, save. And that way people know don't, me don't mess with any of that stuff. They could mess up the rig. Um, the last thing I want to do is go in here, find these things here, these IKs, right click, add selected objects. And since my model is in a layer and I can freeze it, that means if I drag select, I'm selecting all three of the things that I want to animate. Now, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put those in a layer themselves, and we will call that control, sorry, CTRL underscore layer, save. So at this point, our rig is finished, and I think we're ready to animate. Let's check, let's do a little quick test on it. That seems like that's working good. The ball is working good. Toe is working good. In fact, hopefully one of the things that will work well is if I adjust both of these at the same time, we get that. Now that's just a nice little coincidence, really. Um, the same here. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. And hopefully, if we select them both, there we go. So we're getting a, a nice little rig um, that should be much easier to animate now.